Hey guys, Frank here. I'm going to do a little something different today. We're going to do a, an e-liquid recipe as you can see up on the screen. I'm going to show you guys a little something I'm working on. Uh, most of you guys know developed you know, on Tuesdays and well most Tuesdays and every Thursday on their channel. And they just did a Trace Leches cake and I wanted to show uh, my, my version of it. So basically you have your know, Trace Leches, or today Leche is uh, the proper pronunciation, is three creams. <clears throat> so in this mix you can see I have Custard Premium, Big Train Sweet Cream, and Vanilla Cream, which are also the three creams that were used by Developed. And so I just want to do like my little variation of it, my little take. So there's your three cream, the condensed milk I used in place of FA milk that they have in theirs, but just because for one, I don't have FA milk and I think condensed milk is going to give it a little bit of a denser, sweeter flavor. Uh, instead of using Dolce de Leche from Jungle Flavors, because I don't have that one, I used uh, Max's trick and for a nice brown sugar note using Flavor Caramel. Uh, the sugar cookie with the Flavor West White Cake and the Vanilla cupcake from TFA give you the cake note. I uh, list you know vanilla cupcakes one of them flavors that I just love. There's a big difference between TFA and Capella's vanilla cupcake. TFA's is the cake, and Capella's is more the icing. So don't get those two confused because it will mess up your mix if uh, you mistaken one for the other. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna mix this up and uh, you. Yeah. We're gonna get out of here nice, quick, and easy. All right, let's let's go down low, and uh, we'll mix this puppy up. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start off. We got our 60 ml bottle right here. We put that on the scale. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this out. I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna add our nick first. It's going to be coming at 1.24 grams. We use uh, Liquid Barns nicotine. I just prefer it. You know, this is 100 milligram strength, so just be a little careful with it. You know, use gloves most of the time. I, I'll admit, I get lazy. I don't, I don't use gloves all that often. All right, I'm going to tear that out. Now I'm going to add my PG which I'm using Liquid Barns PG. We'll get that in focus there. And for that, since we're doing 75, 25, is going to be 6.69 grams. Get that all in here. And this one's going to be one that mixes in that close, 6.7, good deal. One of these mixes that I mean, right in my wheelhouse with the creams, the custards, you know, nice thick flavors. All right, first, next, we're going to add Flavor West White Cake at two and a half percent, so it's going to be 1.5. Get that all nice and right. This one in flavors, you know, yeah, it has, you know, a lot of people dog flavor with it. They have a lot of sugar and stuff in them, but some, I mean, sometimes you just want that, though. I mean, it's just yummy. Got that in there, tear that out. Now, flavor with caramel, that nice brown sugar note. It's going to be at 0.3 grams. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. Got that in there, and then I dropped the bottle. All right, next we're going to put in the condensed milk from Perillum. Now this, is, I really like this flavor. It's nice and milky, and it's got that sweetness to it. And we're going to add that at We got custard premium. You can get this over at Chef's. 
And you could save yourself some money and get the uh, they have the other version of it. The what is it called? The Chef's no, Flavor Creative for flavor art. And that's going to only a half a percent, so it's a point three. So it's not much. Yeah, a little over no biggie. It'll work. Cap sugar cookie, which I just had to open up a fresh bottle. It's gonna be at point nine. This stuff is just I mean you can use this so many ways. Use the thicken up custards, use it, you know, to help boost up bakeries. There we go, close enough. Right on the money, there we go, point nine. Next we have Vape Train Sweet Cream. This is my first time using this flavor, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's going to go in at 0. 0.6. Look at that, spot on. All right, now we're going to put in some bunch of sweetener in this because it just needs it. It's going to go in at point, well, 1.09 because it's 1 and 3 quarter percent, which is a lot of sweetener. But all them creams, it'll work. It'll be fine. If you want to lower your sweetener, you're welcome to it. Oh, you went a little high. Okay. Next is going to be the Vape Transmilla Cream. There's another one I haven't used before. I'm literally breaking the seal as we speak. Has a very nice, very strong vanilla note in it, which you would expect from a vanilla cream. It's going to come in at 0.9. Point eight nine, close enough. And oh, point nine two, we jumped up a little bit. Okay, now last but not least, we're going to put in the vanilla cupcake. It's going to go in at point nine six. This is one of my favorite flavors. If I had to be stuck on an island with my VGPG a scale, and I was told I was only allowed to take, you know, my Nick can take ten flavors, this would fall into that category as one of my one of my ten flavors I would take with me. Tear that out. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in our VG at fifty six point seven five. I have this old. Bull City Flavors VG bottle I just like to use. Pours in real nice and easy, nice and thick. You can use it for small neck bottles, large bottles. It works just fine. It's gonna be 50, what did I say? 56, 5675. There we go. I have to move over. Sorry. I'm going to head take that off. We're going to put our cap on. Go ahead and we're going to give it a shake. <clears throat> let's go back up on top and let's see what we got. All right, gang, we're back here on top. Give it a little bit more of a shake. I have my Wasp Nano all set here on my GTX mod or whatever the hell the GTS, whatever they call this thing. The RevTech one GTS. All right. I know this is going to need a steep, but we'll have a pretty good idea right off the shake what we are looking at. I like to do this with my bottle just to get that cap to sit right. See how it's nice and set. I'm going to take that off and go ahead and we're going to get this all nice and juicy. There we go. Put our cap back on. 60 watts of 0.24. see what we got.
Yeah, but right now it's almost marshmallowy. There's so much vanilla and sweetness going on. Don't get much of the cake, but after a couple of days, I'm sure it's going to come in. I say it's not too creamy yet. Listen, but I'm really getting seems more like a marshmallow. It's still nice and wet. Let's give it a couple more pulls. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be one I'm gonna put in my uh, put my rotation. It's gonna go in the once this runs out. This is gonna go in here. My uh, Romanizer V2. I'm gonna go ahead and use that next week while I'm on the road. And guys, that's all we got for today. Bring everyone there. I'm gonna start doing a couple of these uh, you know, little e-liquid tutorials. A little something to uh, you know, a little something to fill in some gaps and uh, and teach some teach some guys some people out there uh, you know, just you know, the basics of mixing. Let's see, this recipe was eight flavors, not too bad. Uh, I think give this one a mix if you like it. Go ahead and rate it and uh, you know, check us out every Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern for MITK After Dark. We always have always have fun hangout shows. Sometimes we mix and. You know, just a uh, you know, lot of gang, a lot of giggles, a lot of, you know, just talking about everything that's going on. Uh, just a nice break from uh, from the everyday. Alrighty, gang, like I've been saying, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers, be safe. We'll see you next week. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.